Okay, today on my HHO theory, I have a bigger jar. I have the one plate for the positive on the side. I have the five plates, the three, the two small on this side. I've added more water. I've added two teaspoons of baking soda. And in the middle, I've put in a piece of plastic. It goes all the way down to about, about an inch from the bottom. So that there's a gap between the positive and the negative. So that the uh, electrolysis can flow through to one another. But also separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. Uh, we're hooked up to the 12 volt power supply. Let me turn it on. Okay, you see it's making hydrogen, and the hydrogen is going straight up. It's not sneaking over underneath to the uh, positive side, which is also making oxygen. And the oxygen is also going straight up. And the bubbles are gathering here. And I can see the hydrogen bubbles through the plastic on the other side. So I've separated the two. I've gotten rid of the bottle. Instead of having the bottle, the hydrogen in the bottle, I've split the uh, jar in half and I've separated it that way. Uh, the oxygen is working good. Uh, notice how big the oxygen bubbles are. They're much, much bigger than the hydrogen. They're going straight up and they're also not sliding underneath. There's no oxygen or hydrogen underneath that about an inch gap. Hydrogen is pumping out good. As you can see, it's going straight up. So you don't need the bottle, all you need is the divider of the two. And I can see the gas floating around inside here on the hydrogen. So if you had a cap, a lid on this and a hose for the hydrogen to go into a bubbler and the hose for the oxygen just to escape. You can successfully separate the two. The oxygen bubbles are much bigger. That's what creates the pressure on a lot of the hydrogen you see on YouTube people making, and they think they're producing uh, a lot of hydrogen. And you can see the hydrogen bubbles are so tiny. Zoom in around that bell. See him reaching the top. That's the little hydrogen bubbles floating around in there. It's circulating. The gas is circulating on the right side of the plastic. So I don't need the bottle, I just need a divider with about an inch gap from the bottom so that the electricity can pass from one side to the other side but the bubbles won't. All right, that's uh, my theory seems to be working. It's been running a while and uh, let me put some light on here. You can see the uh, hydrogen forming. And it's, there's smoke, the hydrogen smoke. It's all around here. It's gathering into the jar and going over the sides. Uh, you can see oxygen inside does not make any smoke. The bubbles just come to the top and they pop immediately. See them all popping. And the hydrogen is making a, if you look, look around this area here, you'll be able to see the mist, the smoke gathering 
inside the jar here. And uh, making the inside of the plastic uh, wet. Foaming up over there. I think the foam is coming from using two tablespoons, uh, I mean two teaspoons of baking soda. Um, it's starting to make smoke mist or gas float all around the, the jar there. And then again, as you can see, it's still not running across from each other. I haven't added any extra stainless steel plates. It's still the same plates. I've just added the divider. If you look at the jar, you can see the left side is much clearer than the right side. The right side is the hydrogen, the left side is the oxygen. And this plastic, even though I don't have the plastic sealed on the sides here, uh, the hydrogen still does not come around to the other side. So they're, the two are divided. The hydrogen still, gas is still forming and the bowl and coming over the edges and the oxygen is still just bubbling away and popping once it reaches the top. The oxygen has much more force as it comes up. It pushes the bubbles up so fast and the hydrogen is slowly just like eruption. The volcano just pushing up slowly. Put some light here. You can see with the light, you can see the, the gas. I can, I can imagine if this was sealed with a cap, with the divider sealed on both sides so nothing can get through, and then put a hose into a bubbler. And you can actually see the gas forming inside of the hose much better. This has been running for about, what, 10 minutes? The right side's all murky and the left side is much clearer still after about 10 minutes.